What is up, guys? Jack Gardner here. I hope you enjoyed that track at the beginning there. That was all recorded using the Archetype Gojira, which is exactly what we're going to be taking a look at today. Just before we do that, a massive shout out to Owain for the production on that. You killed it as always, man. Maybe we should make some new music soon. <laughs> um, guys, before we go into it, just make sure that you like, comment, subscribe. Let me know what you thought of the track at the beginning there. Should we turn it into a full tune? I don't know. But today we're going to have to scoot over that way, so I'll catch you over there. So when you first open up the plugin, this is what you will be faced with. Now, if you're familiar with Neural DSP, you'll probably be familiar with this interface. I think it's really classy and really kind of easy to understand. This tab, which we're in at the minute, is actually the amp tab. So it might be worth starting with the fact that this plugin has three amps. We have a clean amp. We have kind of mid gain amp that really gets dirty as we turn up the gain. And then we have a high gain amp, which is probably the sound that most people will be using the most using this plugin, seeing as it is Gojira. Um, but I want to show you today some of my favorite sounds that you might not think to use. Now it's worth pointing out down here, there is this little button. So this unlinks these cabs um, to their head. So you can basically mix and match. So say I wanted the clean, amp but i wanted the, the the middle amps cab we can do that totally mix and match that's a really cool feature now over on to our left we basically have a tuner that's muted by default now which is really cool over on the far left we have the midi map controller so you could map that to whatever you want i think it would be highly useful if you're using some kind of like midi pedal um, you could change patches or, you know, like use some of the pedals actually in here if you assign that to certain functions. But let's move on then to another tab. So like I say, the six tabs at the top, we are on the amp tab, which is this one right here. Let's go to the one furthest to the left. So this is what I'm going to call like the pitch effects tab. Now, this is a pedal which I've been really, really excited about. This is a whammy pedal. So here we've got one octave up option, two octaves up, and then this really nasty sounding octave effect here. Now, this is completely controllable via either your mouse or the touchpad, or you could assign that to your MIDI controller, so you could control that in real time. It sounds wicked. We're going to get into some crazy synth-like tones later. Over here, we have an octave, which again is something that I've been really excited about. Um, especially for kind of funk playing, which I don't think many people will think of when they think of Archetype Gojira, but it works really well to my ears. Essentially, you've got, you know, one octave below, and then I think that's the second octave, if I remember correctly, and then just a level control. Moving on then, so I'd consider that like the pitch-based effect. This next one is all the pedals that you put in front of the amp. So we have an overdrive pedal over on the far left. Sounds great. Distortion pedal here. Then these two, which I am really excited about, we have a phaser and we have a chorus pedal. They both sound really nice. We're going to check them out when we go through my patches. So next tab was the amp tab. We've already looked at that. This tab is the parametric EQ9 band. Um, so yeah, I mean, this is perfect for tone sculpting on kind of a more deep level shall we say like a more detailed level um if say there's a few frequencies in there that you're not so keen on you could get rid of them or say you want to boost them that's another option there really handy tool next tab is the speaker simulation section so here we have a bunch of mics that we can use all typical ones ribbon one two ones condenser four one fours and then of course the ever trustworthy 57 um now, the cool thing is you can load your own impulse responses here. You can have two set up at any one time. Now, if you're more into kind of the visual aspect of things, you can click and drag these wherever you want, which is a really cool feature, I think, in all of the Neural DSP products. It's just nice to have there. And finally, we have the time-based effects right at the end here. So there's a really cool stereo delay. You know, you can get all the kind of ping pong sounds going on here. Um, I really like this delay. 
and then there's a reverb. Now, those of you that have the Corey Wong will know that there was a shimmer reverb added in there. It's gorgeous for the kind of ambient tones. Similar situation here. I don't think they're the same pedal, but they it works really, really well for that kind of ambient breakup sounds that we all love. So yeah, that kind of sums up the interface. Let's hear some of my presets. So we'll go to the first one then. This one, I've called it 80s Clean Delight. That's just to remind me what to play when I demonstrate it for you. So ignore some of these cheesy names. But yeah, this one sounds really nice. It's just a clean amp, I think, with the chorus effect on and then a bit of reverb and delay. So let's hear this. <laughs> nice big 80s sounding clean really and um, the beauty of it all is in the chorus i mean you could if you wanted to take the rate up and bring the depth down a little bit and we'll get some kind of crazy more 90s sound and reverbs i guess uh, choruses i guess <laughs> maybe that's a bit extreme <laughs> Really cool pedal, I'm so glad that we've got one in there. Next preset then, this one I have called Ambient Clean Shimmer. Now this is essentially just the clean amp and then the reverb on with the shimmer switch engaged. So let's check this out then. <laughs> just love how that blooms at the top end with the shimmer it's lovely <laughs> great for pad sounds really moving on then what is my next preset ah so this one is i've called it ballerina now this reminds me of a certain steve vai track I've essentially engaged the whammy pedal for the first time and we're sending it an octave up and then we've got a little bit of reverb on. Again, it's the clean amp. I don't think any of these are engaged. No, let's hear this. I think this sounds really, really cool. It's one of my favorite tones from this plugin. <laughs> Now what's crazy about this is that's tracking all of that really, really well. I mean, even if I play some like fast single line stuff, it keeps up. Even with chords, I can hear it's like struggling a little bit when we get to around four notes, but three note triads, it's fine. Just a tone I can play with for ages. Don't worry, there's more of that coming though. So next tone then, 
This one, I just call this clean octave. This is great for that kind of funk style stuff. So we're just engaging the octave, just one octave down, clean amp, and then nothing. It's just really dry. This was actually one of the tones you heard in the track at the beginning. Let's check this out. So. <laughs> Again, it tracks really, really well. And where this is useful is in the sense that you can basically track bass ideas. That's what I use it for anyway. I don't have a bass here yet in Switzerland. Um, so if I want to track like a, a bass guitar sound, I'll use this basically. Um, it just sounds cool. Let's try a bit more of that. <laughs> something along the nature of or something along those lines I should say um, let's move on okay so this one's just called grungy chorus now this is the first one actually using this middle amp and it just reminds me of kind of some of the stuff from the 90s um, I would have been listening to it probably when I was about 10 I guess in a the, the mid 2000s but yeah it reminds me of that kind of style we've got the chorus engaged and then yeah reverb and delay let's check out this <laughs> really usable as kind of like a, a dirty rhythm tone that sounds is it detuned you know it's one of those kind of things okay so this is the lead patch i've created for this now this is actually using the high game which i usually stay away from i'm more of a kind of mid to low game player but i just think it sounds wicked no pitch based effect no pedals in front no crazy eq and then we just have reverb and delay standard let's have a listen to this you will have heard that on the track at the beginning right at the end that was the tone which i was using um let's move on then to the next patch okay now this is full on like et shred sorry there's a bit of noise there i'm sure you can get rid of that using the gate actually if i was to turn up this yeah that's gone now but basically this is full on et shred <laughs> Yeah. 
going on there is that I have the phaser engage and I've just clicked on the overdrive pedal in front of oh in front of the high gain amp so it's all the gain essentially um, and it sounds killer to me that is that ultimate like 80s over the top shred thing um, not that I can do a good impression of that but try my best <laughs> let's move on to the next one okay so this one I've called this synth what this is again the whammy pedal on but also an octave on we've got some reverb and delay and it's going through yet yeah, the high gain amp now this is actually the tone you heard playing the main melody in that track before and i think this is really cool um gives me an idea of what i'd like a synth solo to sound like i can give rubbish versions to owain and ask him to fix it for me <laughs> let's hear this <laughs> It's just lush and it's tracking really well, even with all that filth on there. Again, even with chords, that's working. Even when I'm playing like close chromatic things there, that works. Genius stuff. Tone I could play with for days. Okay, so this one I've just called it Turn on the Octave for more filth. Is this the last one? Okay, no, there's one more. But basically, this is with the fat zone mode engaged. And again, it sounds killer. Listen to this. So that's got shimmer reverb on. I can hear that there without even checking yet. No delay or anything like that. You could add it on if you want. Clean amp, none of these pedals. But yeah, I mean, that can work in your demos, I guess, as a synth sound. It could even make it to the final track. Listen to that. harmonics there which is insane mental now I've left that instruction turn on the octave for more filth so let's give this a go this is going to give us an octave below that as well
like I say, even with all the speed, it's tracking the lower octave and this higher octave. <laughs> really really cool okay so the last one then i've just called this windy synth and i think it's the same kind of idea this is two octaves up i believe um maybe i've just added yeah, chorus and a phaser. Okay, so let's hear this reverb and delay with the shimmer on. Okay, that's getting a bit crazy, but again, very, very usable. You'd use that just as a little bit of, a, of an effect, shall we say, in one of your tracks. It could be just something super. <laughs> complete madness i thought we've played everything in e let's move to a different key um but yeah guys i hope you've enjoyed that if you do want to check it out they are running a 14 day free trial like all of these plugins and i'm sure you can steal these tones i'm sure they'll be made as presets um yeah just worth noting there i did take out some of the eq so that nine band eq does come in useful for certain things but guys Thanks for checking the video out. What do you guys think of the tones? Let me know down in the comments. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, click that little bell for notifications. Should we turn that tune at the beginning into a full track? Let me know. Till next time, guys. Cheers. <laughs>